What's up YouTube? This is Chevy Brother coming at you in the year 2016. This is my very first video. Happy New Year. Hope everybody was safe. Hope everybody had a happy new year. Um, yeah, I'm back at it again. Uh, got old F-bomb the ghost here. Um, we went ahead and fixed her up today. Uh, I slid a new frame underneath it. So you check it out. Same frame. All this is is a stock rustler frame. I dyed it with the Dupacolor paint. Um, my last video, you know, I was working on it still, but I had to let this thing dry, you know. We got her all back together, ready to run. Uh, took her out for a run today. Um, had the anacondas on it. Uh, we ran with the anacondas. Didn't even run that long, actually. Uh, this anaconda here has a hole in it. I'm trying to see if I can find it for you guys. There it is. Is this it? No, that's not the hole. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, well, I can't find it. But that anaconda has a hole in it. The other anaconda, this guy, <laughs> yeah, blew the rubber clean off this bad boy. Check it out. Look at that. Gator hide just exploded like a grenade, you know. I punched the gas one good time and buy out and blew clean off. So I brought it back home, took these off, dug in my little junkyard. You know, I still had two speed treads that was somewhat decent, but, you know, they were wore out. But that's all I got, so I just slapped them on here with the remaining 17mm uh, hub adapters I had that, you know, worked. Uh, put them on here, and we only ran for a short while. We made like two laps around the parking lot. I got like three hits in, you know. And uh, this one here, they were kind of raggedy, you know, but um, the foam insert on the inside blew, blew completely out of this thing. I don't even know where it went. Uh, see the big gnarly hole in there? Yeah. This motor here on 3S, I'm telling you, the guys, this thing is an animal. I mean, I already ate up two sets of tires. I mean, I can't really say I ate them up because these tires were raggedy when I put them on the car in the first place. But just the sheer torque and power of this motor, look at it. I mean, look at these tires. They're all gummy and, you know, you can still see where they were swollen and ballooned and whatnot. Uh, this tire was extremely bald. You know, we did a lot of dancing around the parking lot. And, you know, the parking lot was a little moist, but it was some dry spots in there. You know, I got my hits in a couple times, but, uh, yeah, this tire just, look at that. See that? It's just all soft and gummy and, yeah. So, if you guys are building a speed run car, I would not recommend running Dynamite Hobby Speed Treads. Uh, I was talking to Mr. Wayne Peoples out there, and, uh, he told me he wants 75 on speed treads. Maybe he had a better set than I did. Mine are kind of old. They might be dry rotted or something, but, uh, yeah, it couldn't hold up to the power of old F-bomb here. Uh, F-bomb ate them for lunch. Another problem I had was my um, alloy hub adapter here. I lost another center nut. So I'm going to have to get on a horn to Traxxas and uh, see if I can get another center nut. If not, I'm probably going to go with a different brand of hub adapters because the Traxxas ones are just garbage. Um, I have a video clip of me running. My wife actually shot it. So it's not the best, but you can actually see the car running. I'm going to go ahead and attach that let you guys check that out. Okay, we're back. Um, I hope you guys checked out the video. Uh, you see me running around the parking lot. Um, you know, it could it wasn't really a good video. Um, I got to teach my wife how to videotape with her phone, you know, so that, you know, you guys could see it better. Um, but, yeah, you can hear this thing has some muscle and you can, you know, you can see I got the power. I just got to get it to the ground. That's the problem. So that's all for now. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, keep our seeing and keep wrenching. Peace.